You know, even in the moment when, when Austin was out there at radio, uh, I, I, I was in shock, I think. I, I couldn't really take it in. Sometimes it's, it's hard for me personally to take things in in the moment. It's not until I look back, you know, years later and, and I go, wow, that happened. That really happened, you know. And, but with Austin, it was such a, a whirlwind. I was a new guy. Nobody really knew who I was. And, and the song was, was, the name of the song was way bigger than the name of the artist. And, and I remember one day I was riding with a guy named Billy Montana and Billy said, Hey man, I was, t I was talking with uh, you know, a friend of mine that works at, you know, the radio station here in Nashville. And, and, and I told him that I was going to be writing a song with you today. And the radio DJ said, Oh man, that guy has the, has the hottest song in, in, in country music right now. And somehow Billy saying that to me, like telling me a third person story it really hit me like, wow, that's what people are saying behind my back. I have the oddest song in country music. And, and I do remember that moment and being just totally shocked and thinking, well, what, what does that mean, the hottest song in, in country music? And then, you know, a month or so later, uh, the song went number one and, and, and the guy knew what he was talking about, I guess.